Hey everyone, Dr. Mike here. Let's talk about digestion. Our digestive system is an incredible and complex network that works tirelessly to keep us healthy and energized. Think of it as a highly efficient food processing plant inside our bodies. Just like a factory, it has different sections and specialized machinery to handle various tasks. It breaks down the food we eat into essential nutrients that our body can use for energy, growth, and repair. These nutrients are absorbed into our bloodstream and transported to cells all over the body. This intricate process starts in the mouth, where chewing and saliva begin breaking down food. It then continues through the esophagus, stomach, and small intestine, where most of the digestion and nutrient absorption occurs. Finally, it ends in the large intestine, which is our focus today. The large intestine plays a crucial role in this process. It absorbs water and salts from the material that has not been digested as food and is responsible for forming and expelling waste from the body. You might even call it the unsung hero of digestion. Without it, our bodies wouldn't be able to efficiently manage waste or maintain proper hydration. It might not get as much attention as the stomach or small intestine, but trust me, it's just as important. The large intestine ensures that our digestive system runs smoothly and keeps us feeling our best. So buckle up as we take a journey through the large intestine. We'll explore its anatomy, understand its functions, and appreciate the vital role it plays in our overall health. Now let's locate the large intestine. Imagine a giant inverted U sitting in your lower abdomen. That's pretty much where your large intestine is. It's wider and shorter than the small intestine, measuring about five feet long. Don't let the name fool you though. The large intestine is called large because of its width, not its length. It's actually much shorter than the small intestine, which can be twice as long. Despite its shorter length, the large intestine has a lot of important work to do. Let's break down the large intestine into its main parts. First up we have the cecum, a pouch-like structure where the small intestine connects to the large intestine. Think of it like the entry point of the large intestine. Next we have the colon, the longest part of the large intestine which is further divided into four sections, ascending, transverse, descending, and sigmoid colon. Finally we have the rectum, the last part of the large intestine that stores feces before it's time to say goodbye. Section 4, the tiny helper's bacteria in your gut. Here's a fun fact. Your large intestine is home to trillions of bacteria. These microorganisms are so numerous that they outnumber the cells in your body by about 10 to 1. Don't worry though, these bacteria are the good guys. They are crucial for maintaining a healthy digestive system and overall well-being. They play a vital role in digestion by breaking down any remaining food particles that the small intestine couldn't handle. This process helps in extracting essential nutrients that our bodies need. These bacteria, often called gut flora, are essential for our health. They create a balanced environment in our intestines, which is crucial for preventing harmful bacteria from taking over. They help produce certain vitamins, such as vitamin K and some B vitamins, strengthen our immune system, and even influence our mood and mental health by producing neurotransmitters like serotonin. So next time you think about bacteria, remember that not all of them are bad. In fact, many of them are indispensable for our survival and well-being. Some are actually our tiny little helpers. They work tirelessly to keep us healthy, happy, and thriving. Section 5. The Large Intestines Roll Water, Electrolytes, and Waste Now, let's talk about the main functions of the large intestine. Remember all that water and electrolytes present in the food we eat? Well, the large intestine's main job is to absorb them back into the bloodstream. As the indigestible food material moves through the large intestine, water is absorbed through the intestinal walls, leaving behind a more solid waste product that we know as feces. This process is crucial for maintaining our body's fluid balance. Section 6. When things go wrong, common large intestine issues. The large intestine, also known as the colon, plays a vital role in our digestive system. Like any other part of our body, the large intestine can experience problems. These issues can range from mild discomfort to severe health conditions that require medical attention. Some common conditions include constipation, diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome or IBS, and inflammatory bowel disease or IBD. Constipation can cause infrequent bowel movements and hard stools, while diarrhea leads to frequent loose stools. These conditions can be caused by a variety of factors, including poor diet, stress, and infections. 
A diet low in fiber, high in processed foods, or lacking in essential nutrients can negatively impact the large intestine. If you experience any discomfort or irregularities in your bowel movements, it's essential to consult a healthcare professional. Early diagnosis and treatment can prevent complications and improve your quality of life. Remember, taking care of your digestive health is crucial for your overall well-being. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and staying hydrated are key to maintaining